Is that true? It's the truth. I got a look in Griffin's wallet. There was a picture of two small kids in it. The names on the back gave it away, but just to be sure, I did some scratching, and uh, I got a hold of the Castillo family records in Juarez. Castillo, that, that's not your name. Your, your name was... Finn, because she changed it. So that wasn't in your name when I met you? I, uh... couldn't tell anyone the truth. When I met you, I was... I was wearing Dr. Finn's ID. And, uh... Well, I met you and you, um... You convinced me to take a chance. You know, my, my, my family, they, they do anything to keep me from doing anything dangerous. They wanted me, like, in a nice, safe doctor's office. And I wanted something more. And you... You showed me something more. You want me to give you a minute? I don't even know who I married now. I... Was there anything that you told me that was true? Well, I'm, I'm very sorry that Greenlee and I are causing you so much discomfort in your life. I'm sorry you pushed me into saying it. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to say that if Greenlee can't come to Christmas with me and my son, then, then I won't come either. It's up to you. Look, I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to, to be respectful of what you're going through with Greenlee. It's just that we, we want to be part of your life. You know, that's what we want, and, and I think that that's what Zach would want too. Don't tell me what Zach would want. I know what he wants. I have reminders of it every single day. What kind of reminders? You know, can we just discuss the holidays later? I've got things to do. No problem. Kendall, take care of yourself, okay? Come on, Spike. Come say bye to Daddy. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hey, listen, I want to ask you something. Will you take care of your mommy for me? Yeah? See you later. Love you. Hi. I'm telling you I saw his finger move. Does it show that he's waking up? Well, it might have seemed like a, a big step, but medically, there's been no change. No, I'm telling you, it was a reaction to what I was saying. His finger moved as if, as if he heard me. Then I'd watch what I say around him. You don't want to give him any extra ammo if he wakes up. Be a better person, David. If you wake up from this, be a better person. My husband, Zach, was very involved, and I... Look, Mom! Oh, Spike, please, please. Um, you know him? Yes, he was... He was a very good man. That's... That, that's very nice, honey. Very, very, very nice. Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh! Oh! Um... Okay. Uh, it's okay, honey. It's all right. It's all right. Um, no, you know what? The, uh, I'm talking to my son. Yeah, we just had a little thing here. Um... You know what, can we do this in person, please? I, my babysitter should be here any minute. Great. <sighs> you want to go away now, too? What? Uh, why would you... Oh, the night before. Uh, 
Medizak left, he, his water knocked over. You think that's that's why he left? You think you think that that's why? Well, no, honey. If he could be here with us right now, he would. Okay, you know that. Tell you what, I'm gonna make another phone call and then I'm gonna help you finish some ice cream. All right? You enjoy that. I I should go. Yeah, go. Go, go, go on, Kara, because that's what you're good at. You go. Go ahead. You can't just look at me in the eye. Just just look at me in the eye and just be honest. You can't do that? You don't think you owe me that? Okay, you know what? You want the truth? Okay, I'll give you the truth. I was young, okay? I was I was young when 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 we got married. I wasn't I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to marry anyone. So I called my, my brother and I said, come bail me out because I want to get away from here. I want to I want to meet people. I want to experience life, but I didn't want to hurt you, Jake. I wanted it to be clean. We were married, remember? Mm -hmm. I, I loved you. Yeah, and I, I need, you needed a good reason to, to break up with me, right? So you pretended to be in love with somebody to make me believe that so that I... I wouldn't go after you, that's it. You said you wanted the truth. Well, if that's the truth, then what are you doing here now? I didn't realize what you found here. You've got everything. You've got a gorgeous wife. You've got an adorable child. And this is what you wanted all along, correct? Yeah, that's what I wanted. It was a big mistake coming here. It's huge. Yeah. Please look at me. I'm sorry. was so urgent that you had to run off to the hospital, I think. David's heart rate was slightly elevated and his finger moved. Are you serious? Yeah. According to Frankie, it was an involuntary response, but I think it's something more. Why? Because his finger moved when I railed at him about Zach. You know what? I can call, I can call Jake and see... No, 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 no. I've spent enough of my time talking about David... It's enough I'm still technically his advocate, and if they can't find another advocate, I might still be when he wakes up. A lot of people would probably be better off if he didn't. Selfishly? I'd rather he did. Then maybe Kendall would take everything out on David. <laughs> I can only imagine the icy reception I'm gonna get at Christmas dinner. What? Um, well, I was gonna... I'm going to wait to tell you this later, but um, Kendall said that she doesn't want me to bring you to Christmas. She actually said that? She also said that the only reason she's tolerating my presence is because of Spike. Okay, you know what? Fine. Quit. Fine, just quit. You know what? You can't depend on anyone anymore. Hey. Well, that was a quick conversation. Well, when there's nothing left to say. Are you kidding? Well, she didn't even try to explain why she didn't tell you she lived with another guy? She said she wanted a clean break and that she figured it was the best way to get me to let her go. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. What do you do when you have an image in your head about the way things have happened in your life, but then your perspective does like a flip-flop and the way you saw things are not at all the way that they are? I have no idea what you just said, but I, I'm pretty sure I don't know. I don't think anybody would. What matters is that it's who you are now. It's what you have. It's the end result that counts, right? You mean about my marriage ending? This wasn't meant to be. Yeah, okay, so what about Kara? Huh? I mean, now you know. I mean, she's obviously been through it. Now that you understand she didn't leave you for another guy, she didn't desert you, does that change your feelings for her? No. No. Okay, well, 
That's good to know. Thanks for looking out for me. Always. Hey! Thanks for coming. Can I get you one of these? How long have you been drinking? Half a drink. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, God. You were right. Come here. Big mistake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, this is something big. You never admit when I'm right. <laughs> Jake knows. Knows what? Uh, how? Um, Tad, he went through your wallet and he saw a photo of us together, so he did some digging, and, well, you don't need to worry about getting beaten up for stealing Jake's wife anymore. Okay, so... Jake knows you're my sister. What did you tell him about why you left him? I said I wanted out of the marriage. Wow. I want to get out of here. Okay, okay. I know this isn't easy for you. Mm. I wish that I could go with you. I hate thinking about you being alone. Oh, no. Come on. Don't. I'm fine. I don't think so. You know what? You don't need to treat me like a little girl anymore. <laughs> I'm your older brother. That's my job. Yeah, to protect me. Yes? But you know what? I'm tired of it. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired of you protecting me and the rest of the family. You're treating me like I'm this glass doll. You know who didn't do that? Jake. Jake didn't do that. No, he would never think... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta get it. Um, yeah, this is she. Um, I'm sorry, that's, that's impossible. Okay, well, I filled out the necessary paperwork. Okay, that would be great, thank you. What is it? That was, uh, that was DWB. There's some kind of, like, problem with my my paperwork. Like, it's an immigration issue. Well, what? Does that mean you can't leave tonight? <laughs> God, this just gets better and better. Hi. Maybe you okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Well, you could have fooled me. Thank God for you. <laughs> <laughs> 